guys this is Scott of personality growth and in this video I just wanted to go over and talk a little bit about the differences between extroverted thinking and introverted thinking and um, yeah they, they could appear pretty similar uh, at first glance but uh, once you get to really understand the two functions you you could see the distinct differences uh, between them so yeah uh, I'm just going to start by explaining what extroverted thinking is. And uh, for someone with extroverted thinking, and this is pre predominantly seen in ENTJs and ESTJs, also ISTJs and INTJs have extroverted thinking. And so uh, when you think of extroverted thinking, it's it's it goes through a logical process. They want uh, things to be in a step-by-step -step order. Uh, first you do this then you do this and then you do that and you they don't really focus on the uh, second and third step you, before you do the first one so it's just you know it, it's like why even think about that because right now we have to finish finish step one right so that that's what it deals with also uh, TE or extroverted thinking deals with external proof and validation. Um, it doesn't really just take logic and break it down so much as it just um, wants to see this logic proven in the real world, whether it's through like a scientific method. And this extroverted thinking can be known as to be a little bit stubborn because sometimes extroverted thinking come to conclusions maybe too quickly they could maybe give a little bit more precedence to first impressions than uh, introverted thinking might uh, extroverted thinking also deals a lot with concrete examples so you know anything that can be proven anything that is factual um, like I said goes through a process and all the steps are laid out of how someone got to that particular process that's going to be pretty hard evidence for uh, extroverted thinking and um, it's almost irrefutable and extroverted thinking also wants to seek closure uh, they want to come to a logical conclusion uh, of the external world and what they're seeing and what they're doing they really like to uh, organize their external environment and uh, so it, it kind of leads them to to make decisions pretty quickly and uh, be decisive about what they and it's also pretty easy to explain to other people. They can give step-by-step -step reasons, bullet points of why they chose to do this or why that makes sense or um, how it's done. And they're also very good at giving directions and explaining how something works. It just comes natural to someone with extroverted thinking to lay stuff out in a thought by step-by-step uh, -step logical process. Also extroverted thinking is very good at creating new systems since they want closure and they want everything to be structured they are very skilled at putting everything in the right place knowing what steps to take and making sure they get done what they want to get done all right and that's extroverted thinking now I'm going to explain introverted thinking and you could probably see some differences here okay with introverted thinking those users are INTP in the ISTP and the secondary users with uh, with it as their second function is the ENTP in the ESTP now people with extra or I'm sorry introverted thinking they want to know and understand everything they want everything to make logical sense and be a sound argument just everything just kind of pieces together because of this it could be a very complex function they want to know all the intricate details and exactly how something works so by doing this um, they kind of form a spider web of knowledge and it just kind of uh, creates this holistic understanding they just want to know where everything's coming from and uh, you know just what they can do and how how certain things work and it just kind of wants to take you know uh, breaking apart like how a car works how the car motor works and everything and just figuring out how that complete system works really intrigues them you can't really just tell someone with TI just hey this is the muffler and it works like this 
they'll be constantly want to know well where did that come from what why does it do that what are the other parts that are interacting with it to make it work and um so it they could somewhat be seen as slow learners school setting if the teacher does not quite appreciate their learning style so um but once they do grasp a concept and understand it it's 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 in their mind it's completely figured out backwards and forwards uh you know it's 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 like riding a bike they can't they just have complete understanding of it so it it takes a little bit longer for them to learn but once they learn um it just creates a complete understanding also because it's introverted uh kind of mentioned before it's difficult to explain to others um you know, it, it's it's their own understanding of how the world works and how how everything's pieced together. And uh, most people with introverted thinking have a problem of uh, over explaining over explaining things that um, others might not be able to readily grasp. And uh, so, yeah, it's 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 kind of their own way of interpreting the world and uh, making sense of it. So to Explaining it to other people would be pretty exhausting. It's not one of their strengths. Um, yeah. And also, it's very good at problem solving. Introverted thinking really just breaks down complex concepts that, you know, haven't really been defined very well, and but they could understand exact, um, exactly what's going on and just kind of break it down and see um, different ways to solve something. So, yeah. And it also can come up with unique solutions to a problem. Uh, some, they it kind of doesn't really follow a structured or a format, so their mind can kind of wander and, and you know break a couple of rules that uh, um, other other types might see as necessary. So um, I know a lot of people with introverted thinking uh, that have been in math classes. They'll re derive a formula or make up their own new formula for solving a problem and uh, this could be a little bit of a problem when uh, they're in a class where they need to show their work because uh, if they're set to use a, a given formula they you know might come up with their own formula that uh, teacher might not appreciate but it still gets the same answer so yeah that could be a little bit of a problem and um, yeah, they're really good at finding holes and flaws in logic. So, um, if someone's saying something and it doesn't quite make sense, um, uh, introverted thinking user might have a hard time, you know, biting their tongue and not pointing it out. So, um, yeah, that could be a little bit of an issue um, with that. And uh, the introverted thinking deals with fixing what is broken and. Uh, that that's probably what their strength is just just problem solving just you know if something something needs fixed something's not working right uh that's where they thrive they can take action there and uh you know just come up with a solution that that'll um that'll make make things work again possibly even make them more efficient than they were before and uh most people with introverted thinking just you know thrive on that and uh they would do well to be in a position where they are able to use that. And also, uh, introverted thinking, uh, it improves rather than creates. Um, when it's dealing with systems, it, you know, the, it, it wouldn't be the best uh, function to use to create a brand new system, you know, because uh, it's kind of scattered and... Um, Whereas extroverted thinking, it, it, it deals with sequential sequential processes and just kind of, you know, this step, then the next step, then the next step. Um, and it just wants to organize that. Uh, introverted thinking can do that as well, but they're much better at coming into something that's already structured and seeing bottlenecks or problems in where where. Uh, things could be improved and where there's inefficiencies so um, yeah like I I believe that someone with introverted thinking would make a very good uh, consultant for a business you know just coming in there coming in there analyzing what's going on what's 
going wrong, what can be improved, and then making those changes and uh, probably having someone else implement them and then moving on to a new business. Um, yeah, and that would just completely play to introverted thinking strength. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's about all I have on there. Um, hope you got a little bit of an idea of how the two compare and contrast a little bit. And um, I'd also like to hear your thoughts on this. So if you could just go ahead and comment below. Uh, I'll be sure. I'd encourage you to subscribe to this channel because we'll be posting additional videos on Myers-Briggs and um, breaking down the types as well as uh, m ways you can improve as a person and uh, alright so uh, looking forward to hearing from you